Hello everyone and welcome to the Augmented Gaming Network. I'm back with Feed the Beast. Uh, this is Feed the Beast Lite and I'm on a crap computer right now so please excuse the, low, excuse the low frame rate but I do have some pretty interesting stuff to show you. So uh, this is the base I've been working on. I call it the core. Um, so you, you're granted with a login system. Uh, so to log in I set it as admin for now and then you enter your password and then it opens it and now we're in the core uh, this is a nano shower so it charges up everything with really rapid fast charge pads um, so if you stand on all four it gets pretty fast pretty quick uh, this is the manual door opening system also manual, which also opens it completely. Okay. Uh, this is also a manual... Or this door is for flight. I haven't really used it much. But hey, it's there. These are multiple floors. Um, this first floor is commodities or transportation. So, it looks like I've received these items from NHVFX and these are also used with portal I can throw things in and that's is actually received in his alchemy room I can also if I want uh, turn on the sending system this takes a little longer but it's more secure transfer um, I can just send these items and the um, engines really do go quick This room is the. Oops. It looks like I have a jetpack on. Okay, there we go. This is the conversion room. So I just take a uh, really high, uh, high voltage electric current and throw it through a uh, medium voltage, and that's medium. This right here is low voltage, and then high current is just transferred through. This is my battery. Um, got MFSUs, they're all synced up, so they're actually quadruple buffered. Uh, so the power is received in here. So this is going to be the lowest end. However, this power will fill up this one, which will fill up this one, which will fill up this one, which will fill up this one. So there's actually five buffers, uh, and there's four um, of them. So this can run a lot of equipment for days straight. This is all powered. The power goes under the core and out to an ocean, which is, or a pond, which is filled with solar panels underwater. Uh, so that's my power system. This is my sor storage unit. It's got plenty of items for me to use and work with. And when I say work with, I need my workshop. Uh, so I've got induction furnaces, they're pretty quick, um, overclocked and uh, transformed to high voltage uh, rotary macerators, uh, singularity compressors with overclockers and transformer, and a centrif in centrifuge extractors which also are overclocked and transformed. Uh, these are alloy for furnaces so I can use uh, it to get al alloy ingots to make uh, red power redstone wire. Uh, they're not connected to uh, Bluetricity because I didn't want to make Bluetricity just yet. I might be doing that later. This is um, the chest for all of my plans, which are used for project tables. The cool thing with project tables is, let's say I want to make a golden trans plate. I just throw that in there, and it shows me, first of all, it shows me the recipe. And it's read it out because there's nothing in the chest or in the uh, craft table's inventory. Meaning, let's say I get 60 or two stacks of uh, gold and a stack of glass, I can make instantly eight stacks of uh, golden transport pipes. So I don't have to manually put it in. And also, if I hit escape, it doesn't throw out all the items everywhere. This is a carpenter. Um, don't want to get into it. Same thing with the architect table. Uh, nothing to get into. Music disc. Liquid transposer and pulverizer, which is kind of like macerator. So that's what I have so far. These are world anchors. Let me get rid of that disc just in case it's 
messing with the audio. There we go. Yeah, there's two of them. I'll just throw them in here. Okay. So, this is what I have so far. Uh, let's head over to NHVFX's lair, which also known as the Thom... the Thaumatorium, I think. Thaumatory. Um, so I'm going to travel over, which is, if you can see in the map, just across. And, uh, he's receiving power from the core. This is his amount of power he's been using. He hasn't used anything yet. Uh, the red lights mean high voltage. Uh, he can input his own power here. Excuse the music. There. So he can input his own power. Uh, this is didn't. This is actually connected to the core, but it's specifically disconnected. So let's say he uses. I don't know, a little bit to run his macerator. That goes down, it doesn't get filled up by the core. Unless he's out, then the core will bill him and then he'll get more. This is his uh, transformer box, or boxes. This gives him high voltage, this gives him medi medium voltage, and this gives him uh, low voltage. Obviously, don't cross connections. Um, this is receiver box. It's, it shows green when he's received items, and this is where he can send items. Uh, when he flips this on, he's actually using power from the box, uh, the power box that he owns. Um, so I r originally sent these. I can actually send these back. Now the green light lights off because there's nothing in the chest. The yellow light displays that there's things going through. So let's say I want to send these back. The engines will start pumping. And it's off and sent through a gold transparent pipe. So that takes under. It takes about. Uh, under a minute. It, it isn't that fast. Um, I want to make sure I am disconnected. Nope, um, it's actually connected to the core. I need to disconnect that so I can see how much energy I actually use. Um, in here is his stuff. He obviously is a very big fan of. Uh, Thomcraft because he has lots of Thomium stuff. Uh, portal. He's got his workstation here. Um, extractor, macerator, the usual stuff. He's also overclocked his macerator, which is really good to do. Um, he's got a really good workflow for just making simple things and even complex things. It's really good how he did it. He uh, is using our computer craft machine. Uh, I believe the mine is down here, and there's items that travel it up. There's also a travel... it travels it to the chest. This is a storage. And also over here we have the Thomcraft room. He's got plenty of stuff that I have no idea what he's talking about. Um, this is the receiver for the items I sent through the uh, portal, which is caught by an obsidian transport pipe and thrown into a pipe, which is right there. I can actually send it back, like so. And that's how it's done. So this is how it's been. Um, what I do want to work on is I want to make a network combined. So I'm going to make a room where it's sent... Th so he could send some, let's say, items that need to be macerated. And since it's sent through the macerator pipe, it'll be sent to a server on the core and then it will be received, processed, and sent back. So I'm gonna work on that and I'll come back to you when I'm done with that in the next episode. So thank you for watching. See you next time.